So, as a lot of you people will know, I'm a bit of a, I say a movie buff. I'm not really a movie buff, but I'm a movie enthusiast. Mm -hmm. I love going to the cinema. I go, um, I would say, at least two times a month. You went yesterday. Um, I did go yesterday, actually. And But, even though I love movies, mm. I'm very particular about what movies I see. Mm. And then someone says to me, oh, Pete, have you seen this movie? It's great. Oh, it's not really my style. And they say, no, go watch it. It's great. And I watch it. And guess what? It's great. Yeah. So my local cinema have started something called the Surprise Cinema Club. Ah. Now, what it is, it's for people that, that go to the cinema a lot, go to the movies a lot, and uh, they choose six movies that they believe everyone should see. Right. Yeah. But it might not be your particular favourite genre. So it's going to force you to see something that you wouldn't necessarily always go and see. Yes. Okay. Now, there's a big problem with that, because if you knew what the six movies were and what one, you would still go to the one you prefer. Right. But they've got round that. It's called Surprise Cinema. Right. right. So every month, I get a little package like this that says Surprise Cinema. Little package. Um, and I get the six movies that are showing. Okay. All right. So this was from a few months ago. We had Fast and Furious. We had Pretty Woman, Scream. Toy Story, Joker, and Spider-Man. All right, so these were the six movies that were saying that. If, if you were to um, have a look at those movies, you would all choose a particular one because of the type of movies you like to watch. Yeah. But they don't allow you to do that. The other thing they do as well, which is just a bit of fun, they send you an envelope um, because they believe they can predict what movie you're gonna see and what movie you're gonna <laughs> choose. All right, so we'll, okay. we'll place the envelope there. I'm not gonna switch it or anything. Um, but, Chris, we'll use you for this, if you don't mind. The way this works is you enter the cinema and there's six screens. So you say, you know, welcome to screen one, welcome to screen two, but it doesn't have the name of the movie. Okay. And what happens is you all go into whatever screen you want, you sit down, and then the movie starts. And whatever movie's playing, you have to watch it. Right. So you could be forced to watch something that you might have sort of went, ah, it's not my style. But nine times out of ten, you'll come out going, that was a great movie. Yeah, yeah. And it's a great way of doing it. Mm. So don't concentrate on the movies themselves, Chris. I want you to imagine walking into a cinema, you're going to walk past the screens. You've got screen one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're now going to stand there and make a decision as to which screen you will go into. Number six. Number six. Are you sure? Do you want to go into that? Yeah. Okay, so imagine yourself going in, you've gone into screen number six, you've taken your seat. Now let me just show you, because on the back here we have got the screens. Like I said, it's not about the movies, it's about the screens, and it's a surprise. So you didn't want screen number one, number two, you didn't want screen number three, number four, or number five, you chose screen number six. So you could have been watching The Joker, which was playing in screen one. Great film. You could have been watching Spider-Man, which was playing in screen two. Mm. Could have been watching Fast and Furious, screen three, Pretty Woman, screen four, uh, Scream, screen five. But you went for screen six, which was Toy Story. Remember what I said, they provide you with a little envelope. It's a little bit of a game they play to see if they can predict <laughs> what you're gonna see. But not only do you get that. Oh, God. You also get your ticket to Toy Story. <laughs> it's so good. How cool is that? I love it.